Hello, my darling friends. Welcome back to Flow, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 26. Open your heart. Let's get started. And we have begun. Come on down to the ground. Take your time. Let's find a lift in the heart though as soon as we get down to the earth. And then just take a little free spirited entry into this practice today. Lift your heart, maybe close your eyes and start to find some soft, easy movement in the head and the neck. Maybe the shoulders, maybe the side body. You can use all the vocabulary we've learned together thus far. You can bring in your own vocabulary. Just finding some soft, easy movement. Dropping in energetically here with whatever you've got. And then as you're ready, bring the head back over the heart, heart over the pelvis, and draw the palms together, Anjali Mudra. Lift your sternum towards your thumbs. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And out through the nose, slowly. Relax the skin of the face, again, in through the nose. And out through the nose, slowly. Now shift your torso a little bit forward and back. Try to find that alignment, that feeling of alignment, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Continuing to gently deepen your breath. Inhale in deeply, exhale, Bow the head to the heart. Feel this deep stretch in the back of the neck. Start to activate through the palms. So press into the palms so much that your elbows are going left to right. Chin to chest. Heart stays lifted here. Breathe. Lovely. Interlace the fingertips now. Slowly lift the head so the chin is parallel. Press the palms forward. Inhale in here, exhale, come forward onto all fours, release the bind, come to tabletop position. Drop the belly, slow sip of air as you look forward, heart energy radiates forward. Exhale, round through the spine, find that detailed articulation through the vertebra that we've been playing with all week. And continue to flow with your breath, inhaling, dropping the belly, opening the heart, exhaling, rounding through the spine. And again, feel free to find some moments of freestyle, listening and responding to what the body is sharing with you today. Maybe bumping the hips a little left to right, checking in with the shoulders. So you have the structure of cat-cow, but allowing yourself to veer off the railroad tracks a little bit here, mindfully and with your breath. Then slowly bring it back to tabletop position and let's drop those elbows right where the hands were. Spread the fingertips wide, forearms are parallel. Walk the knees back, hip creases up high for puppy pose. Big heart opener here, melting the chest down, forehead to the mat, active arms, active feet. Breathe. 
Letting go of the day thus far. Politely putting your to-do list on hold and allowing yourself the opportunity to be really present here with the energy of the body. Carve a line with the nose forward, slowly press into the elbow, shift your heart all the way forward, slide into home, lift the chest up, Sphinx pose. Press into the tops of the feet, hug the low ribs in, open your heart, keep the neck nice and long here. In fact, it's nice to tuck the chin slightly to really find that length in the back of the neck. Breathe. Inhale in here again, find extension from crown to toes. And then release on the exhale, let it all go. Press back up to all fours, curl the toes under, walk the hands all the way back towards the center of your body, come into your yogic squat. Heels can stay lifted here, we don't need to for force it down here, so you can even use this as a little opportunity to stretch through the fascia of the foot. If you're feeling particularly childlike or maybe you're practicing with someone younger than you, you might take this opportunity to do a little froggy hop here. Maybe a little rivet sound or two. A little playful. And then from this froggy position, walk the hands all the way out to plank pose. You got this. So think of your heart center where we're bringing awareness to the heart center, the heart chakra. Think about lifting that area of the body up, way up high here. So you're really pressing away from your yoga mat. See if you can accentuate that today and peek at me if you need to. And then I start to say, holy abs, <laughs> when I start to lift there. Finding that core connection, crown of the head extends. And then we'll send the hips up high and back, melting the heart towards the tops of the thighs. Take a couple breaths here to find what feels good. Pedal it out, deepen your breath, let something go. Now claw through the fingertips, press into your knuckles. Imagine there's a big golden hurdle in the center of your mat. We're gonna lift up, draw energy up from the pelvic floor, slowly roll through the spine, come back to that plank pose, lifting the heart center up, crown of the ex head extended, excuse me. Breathe, inhale in, go up and over that hurdle, back to downward facing dog. Nice work. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward, exhale, make your way to the top. Feet hip width apart, let it all hang. Standing forward fold, breathe. Now find some soft, easy movement here that you fancy today. Maybe it's rocking on the feet Swaying from side to side, shaking the head, yes, no. Maybe it's a good day for some horsey lips. And then slowly draw the hands to the waist ground through your feet. You got this root to rise, standing tall and mountain. Lead with your heart, draw the elbows back, lengthen through the crown of the head. Stand tall, observe your breath. Then release the hands, interlace the fingertips behind your back. Draw the knuckles down and away, and without looking down at your feet, walk the feet together, squeezing the legs, zipping them up tight. Inhale, carve a line with your nose, look up, lift the chest. Exhale, keep the bind in the hands and the fingers as you bend the knees and come into your fold. Breathe. 
slow and with control. Inhale, halfway lift. Send the knuckles back, crown of the head forward. And then exhale, release everything, let it go. Nice. Step the right foot back. Lower the right knee to the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, bring them back down to your lunge. Lift the back knee, plant the palms, step the left toes back, plank pose. Inhale in here, exhale to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. Slowly step the right foot all the way up. Lower the left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Big breath, big stretch. Exhale, bring it back. Lift the back knee, step the right toes back, plank pose. Inhale in here, shift forward, look forward. Exhale, slowly lower to the belly. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Follow your breath. Exhale, brings you all the way down. Curl the toes under, press up to all fours or plank, and send the hips up and back, heart melts, downward dog. Inhale in here deeply, exhale completely. Bend the knees, walk the hands all the way back to the toes. Walk the hands all the way back to the toes. So you're in forward fold at the back edge of your mat. Nice, inhale. Lift halfway here. Exhale to soften and bow. Hands come to the waistline, root to rise here. Stand up nice and tall, big breath as you lift the chest, lift your heart. And then exhale, release. Interlace the fingertips, opposite thumb on top this time. Knuckles draw down and away as you open the chest, open your heart. Inhale in here. Lift, lengthen, exhale, bend the knees, knuckles draw a line, tracing all the way up as you bow into the fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift, find length, knuckles back, crown of the head forward. Exhale, release the bind, release everything, come into the fold. From here, walk the palms slowly all the way out to plank. Turn onto the outer edge of your right foot, inner edge of your left foot as you send the left fingertips all the way up high, side plank. Squeeze the right obliques, bring it all the way back down, and take it to the other side. Right fingertips reach up, squeeze and lift, left obliques. Right hand comes down, we shift forward, look forward, inhale, exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale for Cobra, Bhujangasana, follow your breath, ride the wave. Exhale to soften and fold. Inhale to press up to all fours or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, slowly shift that right foot forward and pivot on the back foot. Rise up, warrior one. Inhale, reach for the sky, lift your heart. The sun is coming out here. And then from here, we're gonna rain the fingertips down to interlace behind the back once again. Feel the root, the power of that back leg strong. So all the way, moving up from the root chakra all the way to the heart, lifted here. Then find extension through the crown, maybe looking up. Inhale it, exhale, lead with your heart, peel the right hip crease back. Humble warrior as Benji yawns. <laughs> Crown of the head comes towards the earth. Knuckles reach for the sky. And we breathe here. Right hamstring parallel to the earth. Back leg is strong. Press into the outer edge of that back foot. Engage your left inner thigh. Find center and slowly rise back up. Release the bind. Open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach the right fingertips all the way up and back. Inhale in, exhale, cartwheel all the way back to your lunge. Plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Inhale to shift forward, exhale to lower. Inhale for cobra, your version. Exhale to soften and release. Inhale to press up to all fours or plank. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Way to follow your breath. As you're ready, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it forward. Pivot on the back foot. Find your foundation. Use your vocabulary. Pull the left hip crease back. Draw that energy up from the pelvic floor. We slowly reach forward, up and back, warrior one. Feel the power in that back leg. Integrate your tools. Draw the navel in and up. Lift the heart. And then we'll rain the fingertips down. Find the bind. Knuckles draw down and away as we open up through the heart, open up through the chest. Humble warrior, inhale in. Keep that back foot rooted strong as you guide the heart space forward. Peel the left hip crease back. Find the posture today. It'll be different every day. Stick with your breath. Stay focused. Right leg is strong. And then root down through the outer edge of that back foot. Draw energy from your right arch, right inner thighs engaged as we slowly lift the heart back up and release the bind. Warrior two. Heart led warrior. Straighten the front leg, reach it back. Big full body moment here. Peaceful warrior, or reverse triangle rather, excuse me. What's in a name? Cartwheel all the way back. Follow your breath. Plant the palms, step it to plank. Inhale in here. Exhale to slowly lower to the belly. Stack the palms, bring your forehead to rest on them like a pillow. And then just allow the hips to shake a little left to right. Breathe. Rest your heart. As you breathe, feel your belly protrude <laughs> into your mat space. Feel that deep belly breath as you inhale. And soften as you exhale. We call this alligator breathing. I'll slowly come up. We're gonna bring the palms underneath the shoulders, bend the left knee, reach around, grab the left ankle. Now, draw the navel in and up just a bit here. I know it seems impossible on the belly, but give it a try and then reach your right hand back to maybe, oops, sorry, Benji, <laughs> grab your right ankle. Maybe the top of the foot. And if this isn't available, maybe we come onto one elbow and we just do one at a time. Gives you a little more space. So you're getting your quad stretch here. Now press into the pubic bone best you can and relax the forehead down. Inhale in, we're gonna grow this. Pressing into the pubic bone, slowly begin to kick the toes up and out. That's your action here, up and out. So not just out, up and out. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Don't crunch the back of the neck. Keep the neck long. Look at you, breathe here. You might find a little rocking motion with your breath. Soften the skin of the face. And after a couple rocks, release. Come back to your pillow. Bring the two big toes to touch and allow the heels to splay left to right. You can rock the hips a little side to side. Take a deep breath in and exhale, sigh it out. Nice work. All right, from here we're gonna inch ourselves over towards the left side of the mat. Turn onto the left shoulder, left ear, and it's a whole new world. Come onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest. <laughs> hmm.
couple more moments here with the breath. Hug the right knee in, extend the left leg out long. Find that wind relieving pose again. Inhale in, exhale, peel the nose up towards the knee. Then release the weight of the head, the neck, the shoulders, and find your twist. Bump the hips to the right. Send your right knee to the left side of your mat and allow your right shoulder to find the ground. Today, I'll invite you to bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right thigh and, and guide it a little deeper into the twist. The power of touch here. And then slowly melt it back to center. Extend the right leg out long, left knee in. Squeeze, inhale, exhale, navel draws down. As we peel the head up, nose towards the knee. And then slowly release, bump the hips to the left if you can. And then find your twist. Guiding the left shoulder down to the earth, opening your heart towards the heavens and using the warmth of your right hand to gently guide the outer edge of that left thigh, that hip, the IT band into the twist. Delightful, bring it back slowly. If there's any other movement your body's craving here, something that we've done safely together before, maybe explore that now. And I'll meet you with the legs extended. Let's take the left hand, bring it to the heart space, right hand to the belly. Make it so that your elbows can relax on the ground so you're not holding anywhere here. We can relax the weight of the body fully, maybe close the eyes, and a flash of surrender comes upon us. Some days it's easier than others, but I think the most beautiful thing is that we bring ourselves to this moment, this opportunity where we even have a chance to practice. Stillness. To practice surrender. Gently begin to wiggle your toes. Bring the palms together slowly up to the third eye. Wonderful work today, my darling friends. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're nearing the end, but fear not, and every end is a new beginning. I'll have your back, so just stay present with your practices and have a beautiful rest of the day. Inhale in deeply and exhale to seal this one with a kiss. Namaste.